Our top story highlights a criminal organization which local investigators believe is responsible for a string of vehicle burglaries throughout East Texas. The most recent overnight near Sulphur Springs. Authorities believe this group is responsible for vehicle break ins in at least five counties. KETK's Rachel Davis spoke with the Hopkins County Chief Investigator and tells us what's being done to stop them. The Hopkins County Sheriff's Office is sounding the alarm, urging people to keep their vehicles locked at all times. Hopkins County Sheriff's Office received several calls this morning, several complaints of people complaining about their vehicles broken, being broken into and items being stolen in the southern edge of Hopkins County. Chief Investigator Corley Weatherford says the suspects traveled along FM 1567 near West Miller Grove, southwest of Sulphur Springs. So, so far there's been numerous properties, as many as 15 properties involved. He says they stopped at houses, checked for any vehicles left unlocked, then moved to the next location. Not all of them had items taken or vehicles entered, but um, some of them, of course, that were unlocked. Um, the suspects entered their vehicles and took personal property, um, mainly firearms, money, and some personal property as well. Investigators believe this same group of people could be responsible for crime sprees in other East Texas counties. Um, there are several different counties that have the same suspect vehicles and um, individuals wearing the same type of clothing, such as camo, camo, the same time frame, the same, um, a lot of similarities that lead us to believe that they're related. Other areas law enforcement believe this group may have targeted include Wood County, Raines County, Van Zant County, and Rusk and Henderson counties. The Hopkins County Chief Investigator is asking for people's help. Wood County, Raines County, Van Zant County. And to keep your items safe, lock your vehicle doors. Rachel Davis, KETK News.